The use of fertilisers has been to provide essential nutrients to crops such as nitrogen, phosphate, etc. These have always been synthetic chemical based products. These are not necessarily good for the environment. They are potentially polluting to the soil, the waterways, and damaging to the, the soil ecosystem itself, and equally potentially harmful to human health. An alternative to the synthetic chemical-based products are natural microbes such as bacteria which are already present in the soil. They're already out there doing the job for the plants. They're providing to the plant those essential nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphate, potassium. These live microorganisms are, are doing that job all the time within the soil, within the plants. So we can harness that ability and develop products that are already doing that job within the soil, within the plants, naturally. Moreover, we could even tailor products such as we would be able to provide a specific microbe to a specific crop in order to do the best possible job that it could, the best possible fertilising job, provision of those nutrients that it could. Pesticides have been used for many, many years um, and again I've been developed as products based on synthetic chemistry and also bring the issues such as environmental pollution, damage to the soil ecosystem and potentially damaging to our health. These products are needed to ward off plant diseases such as fungal diseases which can be you know, catastrophic for the growers. So these products are absolutely essential in order to guarantee productivity and yields for the, for the growers. We can replace these chemical-based products with natural products which are based on bacteria or fungi, all naturally occurring in the soil, all naturally part of the soil microbiome. These are living microorganisms, perfectly harmless to the soil ecosystem, harmless to our health and beneficial to the plants. They function in various different ways. They may be able to just simply outcompete. For example, fungal, fungal strains may be able to outcompete other fungal strains. Bacteria and fungi naturally produce antibiotics to ward off disease-causing pathogens. So this is a naturally occurring process that is happening all the time within the soil, within plants. We can harness that ability of these microbes to produce those antibiotics and to do that job of protecting the plant against the pathogenic disease-causing microorganisms. Another way that we support our clients in developing more organic based biocontrol products is where we would develop a fermentation based um, process where we would have a, a bacteria such as a bacillus which would be producing a certain toxin, um, insecticidal toxin and we will help develop the downstream process so we can purify this the product. So those types of products would be based on things like spider venom toxins that can be used as insecticides. We've got many many years of experience working with different microbial strains. All our experience has been derived directly from the biotechnology industry and we can apply that expertise in order to understand how you know the fundamental physiology of the microorganism and really help develop that process. Equally, we would then also be able to then scale up that production process, either at pilot scale, so we can scale up to 750 litres if we just want to um, investigate how robust the process is or to produce a, small, a relatively small quantity of material for our clients. Further on, we can take that up to 10,000 litre scale and this would allow us to demonstrate a, a, a process which is near to commercialisation. When we talk to our clients in the industry, it's clear that there's a lot of missing information out there. And at CPI, we are learning about 
those missing links in the formulation. And so this kind of relationship that we've got in Agritech with biotechnology and formulations working together, it's like we're greater than some of our parts. We're a one-stop shop and you don't get that elsewhere. I love the idea that we can literally re-inoculate the soil with those natural microbes and harness the roles that those microbes are doing on a daily basis naturally within the soil microbiome. I find, I find that utterly fascinating. I love the fact that my work at CPI enables us to make that real impact for our clients to commercialise their products in the agritech industry and for the impact it brings on the environment.